Hey YouTube, Shukun Shinobi here with a review of the Power Rangers RPM Throttle Max Red Ranger. Um, yeah, he's goofy and he isn't in the show, so normally under normal circumstances I wouldn't have bought him. But um, they've had a battleizer since In Space, and then they stopped at Jungle Fury because their budget went to the Spirit Rangers. So, and then in RPM, they're just like, oh, we're super serial, and they don't have a Battleizer. But, um, I still wanted some sort of figure to kind of represent a Battleizer, so I can make a display with, like, all the Battleized Rangers. But, um, so I just, I wanted some sort of representation for RPM, and this was the cheapest, and I'm not gonna say it's the coolest looking, because the Guardian one's pretty cool looking. But, um... It just, it made more sense because, one, it's cheap, and two, it comes with a slew of weapons that you wouldn't normally get. Um, it comes with the, I'll go into it later, but it comes with the steering wheel gun thing that they use in the Megazord formation. Uh, his street saber, whatever it's called, um, that came with the normal release too, but this one's like all super looking or something like and then the gun form of the street saber, or no, that's highway, I don't remember. Rail saber, rail saber, uh, and they're calling it the canonizer or something. But um, the gun version of the can can bar from Goanger, and then his like little vest thing. So, um, I, it was worth it for the weapons alone, pretty much. So, um, there really isn't too much to go into. This is new packaging. I don't have any RPM packaging to compare it to. I threw it away. But, um, this is new packaging for the last line of RPM. Um, you can find comparison picks on GreenRanger.com or something like that. And the cross cells on the back are all five of the male Throttle Max Rangers and then the Grinder. Um, and then all their weapons do combine to form like an AT-AT walker from Star Wars, but um, I'm not getting them all, so I'm not going to be able to do that. So anyway, let's uh, get him open and see what he looks like. Okay, so here he is in Ranger mode. Um, he's the same mold as the full throttle red, uh, so if you have him, you're not really missing too much. Um, same exact mold, same unpainted back. Um, he has an unpainted chest symbol, and his helmet looks pretty dull. Um, but that's understandable considering what's happening going to happen to him. But um, we'll just jump right into the beef of this review, the actual armor pieces. Uh, here's the visor. It does come off. Um, it pegs right into the holes on the side of his helmet right here. It pegs right in there. I don't know where it's supposed to be exactly. Um, it slides all over the place, so I don't really know for sure. Um, we could leave him like that and pretend he's like blind now. But um, I think it's supposed to go like right about here on his head. Then his chest armor, um, it's exactly like the... Whoop, Knocked him over. The Green Ranger armor for the Super Legends line. Uh, split in the back and just folds over. Slides right in. Just that. Okay, there we go. Um, this is the Battleizer. No, um... You, technically, looking back on it, it was a poor choice for a Battleizer representation, but, um... I just have a knack for lightly armored rangers i guess uh and the weapons are cool so here he is with his highway saber he can actually barely hold it um i don't know if mine just has like really giant man hands or what but it doesn't he doesn't hold it that well uh here he is with the highway saber Here he is with the, I don't know what they actually call it in the show. I never paid too much attention to it. Again, he can't really hold this really well either. 
But uh, here he is with that. Um, I'm glad they finally marketed a toy with that in it. Um, I was afraid they wouldn't. The closest thing I had was the version that came in the track set. The uh, That set with like the little 4 inch or so um, statues of the rangers. And like the very anti-posable high octane Megazord. Um, there's that. But uh, it's kind of like big and doesn't really fit well. So I'm glad they finally came out with one that is actually in scale with the Rangers. Anyway, here's what the really highlight is. The uh, RPM Cannonizer, or whatever they're calling it. The gun form of the can, -can bar with the Nitro Saber attached. Um, I really like it. This is probably going to be his main weapon. I'll probably just put the other two away or give the steering wheel gun to somebody else. But, uh... It's this is the real gem of the set. I'll say that. Uh, I'm ashamed. I'm not. I'm ashamed. <laughs> I'm uh, disappointed that there's no sword form for it. Um, as far as I know, none of the sets have the uh, sword form. Let me double check real quick. Gun, gun, none. Gun. Gun, okay. Uh, gold doesn't come with a version of it at all. He comes with the sky shift and the cloud hatchet and then two uh, handguns. Uh, but the red, blue, black, and green all come with the uh, steering wheel, gun, and the uh, cannonizer, along with some other weapons. So, um... Don't get gold if you are trying to get the weapons. Anyway, nice figure overall. Uh, not going to be in the show. It's pretty piss poor as far as battleizers are concerned. Uh, but just think of it as a team team uh, team power up rather, um, and go from there. Uh, I like it overall. Uh, he's gonna go plop on my shelf with the other battleizers. And probably get ignored because I don't particularly like Battle Edge. So, um, until next time with the Grinder Review, which will be up in a couple days, if not tomorrow. Um, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.